Good morning, guys. Today's going to be a fun one. But before we get into what we're doing today, let's get some coffee, let's get some work done, and then we'll get into the details of what we're doing today. Okay, so today we are heading down to a church down in Denver. And actually, for Andrew and I, it was one of the last um, installs that we did with Octane. And part of that install was having a bunch of key light fixtures and a whole like stage theatrical lighting setup. We left it kind of as a general look because they hadn't quite decided on like what their layout of the stage was going to be or even the layout of their services was going to be. So we kind of left them a general wash look uh, until they can figure out exactly like what they wanted to do. So now they've been in the facility about a year and they've been using the setup, but they want to change the key light to better fit what they do throughout the services. So that's what we're heading down to do. We're going to um, adjust the key for the vocals and for the speaking, and then also uh, make a few tweaks to the stage, as well as Andrew's gonna like program and operate the lights for their worship night tonight. So it's kind of a mix of all things. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go down and help them out. So this video is for you guys. If you have lighting and you want to make your key light better, um, and just some tips that we do whenever we uh, balance key light, whenever we are looking at how to make the speaking wash look good, how to make the vocals look good. This is kind of a basic vlog style tutorial on how we accomplish that. Okay, so we're here. Um, this is the stage. We have lights up here. So we're gonna kind of turn them on and walk you through what we would normally do when we are laying out a stage and then setting it up for proper key light placement. Um, I believe, how many fixtures do they have up there? Uh, 12. They have 12 Chevet. Lecos are actually really, I think they're like the Rev3 Lecos. They're really nice Lecos with zoomable lenses. Um, they look awesome. We just need to focus them properly. Okay, so these are all their Lecos on right now. You can see it's very bright, but as I walk across the stage, you probably see how it changes and I'm walking in and out of fixtures. I could see it right there. And that's yeah. what we're trying to fix. So some of that is changing the actual positions, the focus, and then we also have diffusion that we're adding to the fixtures to soften that up a little bit. One of the most important things to do is establish where everything's going to go on your stage, especially when you don't have moving key light. So you kind of have to figure out what exactly you want to do. Um, so for example, on this stage, they clearly have an extended uh, preaching area as like their podium, like that's where they talk from. And so we know we're gonna wash that as best we can. So that way, whoever's teaching can walk back and forth in that area and be fully lit. And then the next thing is the vocals. Now they kind of rotate around with how many vocals. So you kind of have to play with what fixtures you want. Usually I would light each vocal with at least one individual fixture. So that way you can control how they look and then uh, change intensities of each vocalist and that kind of thing. So for this look, they always have someone right here controlling their tracks and singing. So we know we have to light this person. So ideally you put someone opposite symmetrically over here. So normally they have a vocal here we recommend that they move them to about this position because that would be symmetrical with the other side. So there's two of their three or four vocals. And then obviously if they're gonna run a third vocal, you can put them dead center. And if you're gonna run four, we'd put them here and here spaced evenly with those two vocals. So that way you have even coverage. So the recommendation is if you have a vocal here and a vocal there, you would place a vocal here and a vocal here. There's your four positions each lit with one 
light. And then the center vocal, if they run one, would be a little further up in this area. Um, and then we would use the talk lights that we'd light this up to light him. And you don't have to use all six or eight of them. You can just use one or two of them. center is yeah we can bring these two down a little bit more sure okay so one of the things that you want to do and you can see i'm walking out of the light here is we have six or th four lights on this side four lights on that side and we're all doing them at 45s across the stage. As you can see, I walk out of it. But one of the things that is really helpful to do is solo the pairs. So that far fixture over there and the far fixture over there. And you can see it looks like this. So that one and that one. And one of the things to see if you're even or not is when you're standing um, with your back towards it and you look this way, you can see a shadow here and a shadow there. And that's a easy tell to find where the light is and where the shadow is gonna drop. So when you're trying to create smooth light, if you can see here, I can adjust the focus. So if I pull it back, you can see now it's like a harder edge. When I pull it forward, it's a softer edge. So usually you wanna find a soft spot right around there. And then also in here we have these diffusion gels that help just soften the edges and the whole thing up so that way they all just like blend together. Okay, so now you can see we have six lights over here, six lights over here, all pointed at 45 towards this podium wash here. And it's very bright. We probably won't run them all at full intensity. The closer they are to the stage, the less intensity that they will operate at. They're probably at half right now. Or they are at half right now. They're all at half percent, yeah. percent right now. Okay, so a nice little trick you can do. Um, obviously the shadows is nice um, to watch um, where they kind of come in and out when you walk across. Um, and then you're not just staring at lights all the time, but also using your hand and going across, just watching your hand to see where there might be some intensity jumps or some blips. Um, so that's kind of a little trick that you can do. Mainly because you can't look at your own face. So as you're walking, it helps being able to see your hand. Yeah, and you can kind of see color too on your skin if yeah. you're trying to dial in color as well. Okay, we're on stage now. And what we just did was we took four of their nitros, which are on the sides pointing as blinders, and put them up here. You can see them up there, mainly to add a more big general wash to the stage. Now there are art twos up there, um, which they use a lot for effects. And so one of the missing things was a big wash for vocals, background vocals, band members, like whatever. We usually don't light up band with key light. We usually use stage wash to light up the band. And if you have all your intensities right, they're as lit as the front vocals and it creates that separation, adds more depth, more detail that kind of thing. So as you can see for nitros adds, you can see all the blue light on me, adds so much light to the stage. Now we can use those R2s for other effects and things like that. And we still have side wash and more rear wash. And that's kind of the big key thing is having a ton of stage wash. That's how you get good lighting in the room and on camera.
Well, we wrapped up, show's over, uh, everything went great. So hope that you guys learned something from this video. Hopefully it helps you balance your key light a little better and your stage wash a little better. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.